Hello guys, welcome to Ben's Blog, and today we're going to talk about how to install the ABB motorized breaker and its accessories. Accessories, I mean. So this uh, breaker is a uh, 400 uh, amps ABB breaker. So we're going to install the motorized in order to make our functions for synchronizing in order to control the close and open for the module and its uh, auxiliary contact so at this point we're going to talk about which uh, um, what what you mean is which uh, parts we're going to uh, connect and where which accessories we need to install in this type of breaker so this one is uh, uh, we're going to install this breaker is MOE that's E T4 or T5 uh, motorized breaker so this one is uh, work for synchronizing so let's go outside so you can see how we can install this uh, breaker so let's go So okay guys this is the breaker we're going to install so this one is uh, the CST5N400 so this is 400 amps breaker so this is as you look without uh, the motorized breaker so this is uh, we can do only this one as a manual close and on and off uh, breaker so in order to make it motorized we're going to install its accessories so now first thing we're going to uh, open this one this is so if you open this one this is what we see inside so there is no accessories so here is our breaker without the accessories so now uh, first things you are going to do is to install uh, the either the auxiliary contact or your uh, shunt or the UVR uh, solenoid so first thing I will show you so this is the accessories that we are going to use here in this uh, T4 T5 uh, ABB breaker so this is what we call the under voltage solenoid so this is the form for that this is we are using here the 220 to 40 um, volts uh, it is applicable 50 60 so here is our uh, auxiliary contact so here we having uh, the uh, we having the normally open and normally closed contact so you can select either which you are needed uh, the contacts you are going to use you can select this is we have here one two three four uh, available you can use it here so first thing I'm going to install is our auxiliary contacts. There is no problem with that. So uh, just do it like this here and uh, insert this one from this side first. So in order to uh, fit your uh, connections. So and insert this one from here. So until it is uh, fit. So after that you have to tie it. We have here the bolt so in order to uh, tight okay make it sure it is tight properly so in order to make it sure that there is no uh, problem happen during the uh, testing okay so just I arrange only the connections and we're going to tight it uh, properly okay so we'll try if it is okay Okay, so, so I just tried it that one. I will just press it the three point. So just put it three point that one. And after that, we're going to install uh, our uh, UVR solenoid. So make it sure that you are going to install also these accessories. It is needed because without this, it will not work your uh, UVR 
uh, solenoid. So first you have to insert that one. Okay, and after that, tight the bolt from here, the top. Just make it sure it is tight properly. So I think I have. Uh, I need the bigger screwdriver in order to tie it properly. Yeah, make it tight properly and then down here you are going to also uh, put the lock from here so this is the screw here let's put the screw screw it properly so that's it so after that you are already done for your auxiliary contacts installations and your uh, UVR uh, installation. So this is two accessories you are needed for this kind of breaker. So after that, uh, you need to cover. This is the cover. You have to cover that one. But before that, make it sure that your connections is totally uh, uh, installed. So first thing, so this is the connections for our... Um, uh, UVR, I mean the UVR or under voltage relay or under voltage uh, solenoid. Okay, so just insert it properly. Make some good uh, connection. And by the way, this one is uh, to 20 supply, so you need to have uh, to 20 uh, voltage supply for this in order to work. So just uh, tie it this one. So wait for a while. I forgot my uh, screwdriver. So it is connected. So I think I've got the wrong connections. It's supposed to be here at the top here and down here. See? Okay. Is a little bit uh, okay just like that so here we have the tagging for your d2 and d1 okay, after that uh, just tight this one here properly and the other one okay just make sure it is arranged at the proper way okay just like that so this one is our um, motorized breaker make it sure this one is in that rip point or if you want it's easy for you just make it at the off position so how you will identify uh, if you are in the correct position so can you focus here so so as you can see here this is where you are going to insert this uh, plastic this one this the holder so as you can see here this is your weave here so he's good this is the breaker point of your uh, motorized so this one you are going to insert down here so if for example this one is in the uh, this in the upper portion so you need to lower down that one just energize this one and as you can see it is moving down so it's easy for you to identify which one you are going to insert so it's like this it should be in the off position and then you are going to insert okay so that's it and just like that okay after that you are going to uh, insert the four bolts from here okay so 
first thing we are going to uh, uh, this one so now uh, as you can see we are already insert this cable from this side and now we are going to install the motorized uh, breaker so here as you can see it is in the off mode and our slots here is in the off mode positions also so just make it sure that you are in the correct position okay just like that so it means you are in the correct position now so only need is to uh, put the four bolts and uh, here I need the yeah I'll just finish this one and uh, why you are too much? Uh... Yes, uh, tight temporarily. I will uh, take uh, the rest of the bolts and uh, uh, yeah, we have here the second bolt. So ensuring that you are going to tight first at the top of your. Uh, breaker so so it will not fall down so just tight it like that until it is you feel that it is uh, yeah just tight it properly and then the next is down here this is only four pieces uh, bolt okay so once you're done Yeah. So I think we are fully uh, installed already. So second thing is our the last part is our cover. So just do it like this and make sure this one is in this position. Like this, insert it then put your hands there and uh, insert it then you have to put the two pieces bolt from this side and it's also inside here so it's inside from either handle okay one here and one inside so I will take the bolt Yes. Okay, just insert that one and uh, need to tight it. And now you are done. Just tight that one and now you are done. So make it sure that you are, if you want to manual, just check uh, the seat point here. Put it manual so you can do it manually and then put auto if you want in auto motion and now it's for your uh, safety you can put the lock so nobody can uh, use it so for now our uh, breaker should be auto because we are going to test this one for a synchronizing it should be in the auto position so that's it and uh, that's how simple we're going to install this kind of breaker this is moe that's e t4 that's t5 also this is all the same connections so if you have some questions just uh comment down below to my yt so i can also uh, reply you there if anything that you are asked don't be shy just ask any uh, possible questions that you are thinking if there is some difficulties just ask how you can uh, step by step install this kind of breaker so uh, this is the additional for our uh, topic yeah, about the installations for the motorized breaker yeah, ABB uh, MOA the C this is a T4 T5 uh, breaker so this one is uh, I will uh, give you more uh, ideas on how to uh, uh, connect or what is the correct uh, wiring uh, connections for that one because that is only we are uh, uh, 
installing the motorized breaker how we can install and what is the accessories that we needed for that kind of uh, breaker so this point we are going to uh, explain uh, the important connections for this kind of breaker as well so now if you see here if uh, we will zoom in a little bit so as you can see here I will mention only where you connect our motor supply so if you have uh, the 400 volts easy output or 220 volts output uh, this is uh, always vary for your connections uh, depending on your uh, alternator uh, connection so if you have uh, 400 volts so you can get your line to neutral uh, voltage is uh, like uh, to 40 or to 20 for uh, uh, 200 volts so it the connection should be uh, line to line okay uh, so now for example we have the 400 or 415 volt EC so it should be our common connection should be U2 so U2 is here so this is uh, our connections that is common so that is uh, connected should be in our neutral and our U1 is always at your line connections it should be in the uh, line like line one line two line three you can connect either both uh, either i mean either uh, one or two or three uh, you just select what line you're going to use that and so you can get the 220 or 240 volt easy for your motor supply so once again motor supply for this kind of breaker is you have uh, to connect the u1 for your line and here U2 is for your common or your uh, neutral side so here the other one uh, uh, I will uh, scroll down so in this mo uh, motorized breaker uh, we have only uh, um, under voltage uh, uh, accessories we are going to install this one and the auxiliary uh, contacts because this breaker is already have a uh, uh, close uh, solenoid inside so uh, no need to install that one so that one is already uh, when you buy this uh, kind of breaker this one is already have uh, inside so so uh, once again the connections for your uh, under voltage is common is your D2 and line is your d1 so this is your under voltage or your shunt trip uh, solenoid so this is yu so this one is you can buy 380 to 40 for it this is uh, depends on the applications you are using so as of here we are using this one uh, to 40 uh, to 20 to 40 uh, volt ec the solenoid this is what we call the solenoid so the supply for that one that's why we take uh, neutral and the line for our uh, connections because this uh, alternator is uh, connected as a series connection so we can take this one as uh, 400 or 415 volt ec so in that uh, connections we can get uh, 220 to 240 for the neutral and your line connection so as i told you uh, always uh, your connections is uh, two is your common and one is your line okay so whatever the letters there in the ABB so D1 is line and D2 is your common or your neutral connection so in here our uh, accessories uh, this is what we call the auxiliary uh, contact so we're using here is our 11 12 and 14 but you can use it also here there is no problem that one depends on what is uh, you need okay so here is our uh, common is 11 so we have here the normally close the 12 and our normally open is our 14 so 
this one is needed for your breaker uh, close contact so for example your breaker is closed so this one is also closed um, and this will make the feedback for your module we are using this one as the feedback for our module if it is uh, breaker is already closed or at the open position so they can determine so uh, that's it this is the additional so once again I will uh, go back our motor connections is U1 and U2 do not be uh, confused there is some wire there is some tagging so that is the connections for our motor U1 and U2 so always uh, understand that our 2 is common and line is our 1 so U1 is line and U2 is common and next is our um, under voltage really I mean under voltage uh, solenoid so our D1 is our line and D2 is our uh, common so our auxiliary is uh, depends on what supply you are needed so this one is uh, either you can put DC or AC supply you can use it here so depends on what your usage where you can connect this one or normally close or normally open so okay so if you have some questions or doubts uh, just ask ask me uh, to the comment sections of our YT and uh, this one uh, this breaker is we are using for the uh, automotions or uh, controlled by the module uh, during the synchronizing uh, application so that's it guys I don't have uh, more to explain for now so once again Vince Blog is here thank you for watching see you again in my next vlog bye bye